What up? It's your boy Red here. Today we'll be reviewing Girls Bravo, another recommended anime to watch and review. So we're going right into it. And I've, I've see, actually seen this one before. It's an older one from 2004, I believe. And I've seen it uh, roughly like 10 years ago. Um, basically, it's a story about this kid who has an allergic reaction to girls. And girls tease him and whatever and kick his ass. And he gets his ass kicked a lot. But he gets to see a lot of shit. You know what I'm talking about? Hell yeah. That's the kind of enemy this is. You're going to see the boobs. Everything. You're going to see everything from... Nah, not everything. But, you know, he gets to see some tits, some naked butts. Jiggling everywhere. But, um, besides that point, he's allergic to girls. And he gets sent to this world called Saren, which is apparently not that far away from Earth. But we can't see it. But they can see Earth. It's like the moon for them. I don't know. And in this world, there's the 10% of the population are male. The rest is female. And they're male crazy, man. I mean, there's some, you know, lesbians here or there. But they, if they see a man, they'll chase his ass. And that's basically what ends up happening to our main character. But luckily, there's a girl there who protects him. And he ends up liking and stuff. All that happens in the first episode. I mean, that sounds pretty cool, right? Man, I was into it. I was like, man, what's so the, what the fuck this world? All girls and shit. Let, let me go there. But anyways, but then they come back to Earth, and then it turns into a whole high school thing. She enters his high school. Uh, the girl, his best friend, since they were little, it turns out that she likes him too, or I don't know, does she? I really don't. I can't answer that, especially how it ends. Um, then more girls come over from Sayrin. Uh, police officers sent to watch them. Uh, the main first girl that went there. Now all of a sudden this rich girl falls in love with him and then there's the rich brother. And it turns into a whole high school thing where it's really like there's sex innuendos like a lot in the beginning. Then they kind of go away. It's just like the nakedness. A lot of nakedness in the beginning. Then it goes away. Then it comes back. But like I said, a lot of sexual references straight out. I mean, the, especially this, this is one of the funniest scenes where she like discovers what bananas are because apparently they don't have them on Saren. And then she starts licking them and rubbing them. And it's pretty sexual if you ask me. But whatever. Maybe I'm just a pervert. Who knows. But you get a lot of that in this anime. Like I said, a lot of nakedness and stuff. A lot of comedy. Actually, if I remember correctly, I laughed more the first time I saw it. The second time I saw it, I don't know. Maybe you mature more and most of these jokes just go over your head. I don't know. But let's go on with, you know how I do this shit, man. We go into the characters. And, um... <laughs> it's just making me laugh. Anyways, the first character is fucking this guy. He's the one that has a girl disease, Yukinari Sazaki. Like I said, he's allergic to girls. He's a little guy, um, but he's still a guy. He, you know, he still has those urges, or whatever. But um, he's a nice kid. Uh, that's really it. He's a nice, shy kid. Not strong, not powerful. He gets picked on a lot, like I said. But he doesn't let that bother him. He he even explains all this in an episode. So that's pretty great. And then we have Miharu Seina Kanaka, the first girl he meets in Seiren. Uh, those three dots on her head are Star Power or Star Mark. I think it was Star Mark. It gives her powers. Apparently these women in Seiren can locate a man on Earth and bring him toward them. I don't know if that was happened with her and Yukinari. Uh, maybe. Because that's happened with other ones that have Star Marks like her. And of course you see her in many different outfits. My personal favorite is the one where she doesn't wear anything. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, you'll see her naked. You'll see her in many out different outfits. She's very innocent and not at the same time. It's kind of weird. Like when you see episodes of her trying to rub Yukinari and stuff like that, I think she knows what she's doing. But again, I feel like she's very innocent at the same time. 
<laughs> we have Kiri Kojima, probably one of my favorite characters. She's uh, been best friends with Yukinari. They live next door to each other, neighbors. Uh, she's extremely endowed, very curvy, very strong, able to fight like crazy. Actually, there's an episode where she joins a tournament of girl fighters. Of course, you know, but one of the fights ends up being a mud match. But besides that point, though, she's just powerful as fuck. Made it to the semi to the finals. And that's where I'm going to leave it at because I don't want to ruin it for you guys. And like I said, you get to see her in many different outfits as well. I think out of all the characters, you see her the most naked. I don't know. i got to rewatch it and count. But she also has, is a prime target, for, prime target for lesbians. She even says that in one of the episodes because she gets targeted by a lot of the lesbians out there that want her. And then we have Kazuharu Fukuyama. He's... Some would say he's an antagonist. I would say he's just a dumb guy that's really rich and fucking loves women. That's the kind of guy I would hang out with. We go hunting for girls. This guy does that. Of course, he does have an allergy just like you can already, but not towards women. It's towards men. Like I said, he's extremely rich. He uh, usually fondles over uh, Kyrie, but his uh, targets go for another girl who comes out later on in the show. And uh, I don't know. It might be that Kyrie likes him. At the end, she says something pretty weird, so I don't know. And then we have a sister, Lisa Fukuyama, who actually is a witchcraft maniac and actually uses powers and summons demons and shit. And she was told that her lover would have a, a bandage and she would run into him. And I forgot what else because it's been a while. And it turns out that that person was Yukinari and she fell in love with him. Even to the point of him, of her letting him touch her sexually. Yes, you'll get to see that, so don't worry. But she's actually pretty nice, so we get to see a backstory episode on her. I won't give it away, but it, she's actually a cool character as well. And then we have Kiyomi Hari Nakana. I can't even say it, but uh, Kiyomi, she's a police something. I forgot it was like police something officer. They're sent to investigate missing people because I guess that happens a lot in Siren. I'm guessing with the whole traveling through planets and shit like that. And she was uh, tasked to watch over Miharu and find a man for Miharu's older sister. But she's really nice. I like her. <laughs> and then we have Tomoka, another officer. But like I said, she's more of a... She's not, I want to say the Moe character. She's definitely the most annoying character on the show. But she's pretty funny, though, too. Um, has her own episodes. Go on, goes on adventures. She actually likes Fukihara. And they hang out sometimes. And yeah... That's about it. She's really cute, though, in a kind of annoying kind of way. Little sister way. Yeah, there we go. And then we also have a pet that gets brought by accident by Tomoka called Ebi. He's able to shoot beams, be used as a bat. You get to see him get fucking brutally humiliated and hurt. But um, he gets transformed into a girl when we first meet him. I don't know. It gets fucking weird. But Ebi. <laughs> and then we have Kosame, bodyguard for um, Lisa, um, one of fucking trained like an assassin crazy. First episode we see she's shooting through fucking windows, and then we find out that she's fucking, she's in love with uh, Kyrie, that's harassing her, trying to kiss her. Actually, she kisses Kyrie, that's, it. that's all I'm going to leave it at. And then stuff happens too, but yeah, she's a lesbian, don't try to hit on her. And then we have Hayate. A second bodyguard for Lisa. He's uh, apparently he wasn't really much in the manga, but he comes out a lot in the anime. Even becomes best friends with Tomoka. They hang out and fight each other. Um, he's also well trained. Doesn't really get a love interest in here, but it's funny if he like would I hit a Yukinari or something? I don't know. But no, he's more of a cool dude, keeping um, the other bodyguard in line. And uh, yeah, it's really about it. The bodyguards, and then we have Lilica Stacy, head maid for Fukuyama. Um, She's a trained assassin or something. She's a soldier. I don't know what she is, but she's killed a lot of people. She actually trained someone in that anime, but I didn't include that person because it was only come one episode. But she's really scary and hot as fuck. But she does have major scars coming down her back, but don't worry. She's still hot as fuck, right? And this is Miharu, sister Maharu, Sena Kanaka. Um, unlike Miharu, she doesn't have a star mark. But she does want to find a man, and she doesn't get, give a fuck out of who it is, except for Fukuyama, because he's a pervert. 
But um, she will marry anyone. I actually, stated once the two of the one of the bodyguards, the male one, that she will he will marry her in the afternoon or something. It was weird. But like I said, um, this show is full of naked women fan service right there. Um, jokes, comedy, the plot. There's a plot, but it's really only like the f like a handful of the episodes are a plot. The rest are straight fillers. So be ready for that filler here, filler there. Really, all together, you could put the best episodes into like 10 episodes, and that'll be a good season. But you got 24 episodes here, so there's a lot of filler. But enjoy, right? Hell yeah, enjoy it, man. So with all that said, the animation was great. The titties were great. Not really emphasized because they kind of blurred out. But I'm going to have to give this show a 6 out of 10. It's an average show for an average person with non-average titties. All right? But, um, hey, man, check it out if you want some fan service with some good little stuff in there. <laughs> all right, hit that like, hit that sub, man. I'll catch you all next time.